welcome. I hope everyone had a productive week. It's Friday. This week's video is a request. It was requested by one of you, so thank you. I hope you find this video helpful. In this video, I'm going to be crafting bookmarks. You may find that most bookmarks are rectangular in shape, which means Cricut Design Space makes it simple and easy. To give you an idea of what you can do, I've got four examples for you. Basically, anything you want to add, you can. Aside from text, you can also add all over designed elements, colored shapes, and more. I'll also show you how to draw and write using Cricut pens, as well as print using the print and cut feature. While there are countless bookmark videos that exist on this platform, I hope you all enjoy this one. If you're ready, let's start. Open Design Space and start a new project. In this first example, I'm making a 2x6 bookmark. Select a square and make the size 2x6. Place the square on the X and Y axis at zero. And here's the shape for our bookmark. I'm going to add a circle, a line, and vertical text. Select a circle and make the size 0.25. Place the circle on the X at 0.875. and the Y at 0.125. Select all and change the color to white. Now we're going to select a score line and make the size two. Rotate it 90 degrees. Now we need to convert the score line to a line that will be drawn using the pin. So I'm going up to operation and select pin. I'm also going to choose a color. Um, you could choose whatever color you want. I'm going to place the line on the X at zero and the Y at 0.75. Now I'm going to add my text. I'm going to be using the Cricut Sans font, the style, writing, and the font size that I'm going to use is 40. And I'm also going to change the color. Now I need to rotate my text 270 degrees. And I'm going to place it on the X at 0.624 and the Y at 1.145. And the last step for this bookmark is to select all and then attach. Our first bookmark. And what I'm going to do now is hide it so we can work on the second example. In this second example, I'm going to be adding an all over design element. Select a square. And make the size two by seven. Place the square on the X and Y axis at zero. We're going to uh, add the circle next. So select the circle and make the size 0.25. And we're also going to place the circle on the X axis at 0.875 and the Y at 0.125. I'm going to select all and then change the color to white. Now, in this example, I want to print this bookmark. So I'm going to go over to the layers panel and I'm going to select a square only and I'm going to change it to a print then cut. 
So I'm going up to operation and select standard under print then cut. At this point, you can choose a color or pattern um, here in Design Space, or you can upload your own. I'm going to add a pattern here in Design Space. I'm going up to Fill, Pattern, and I'm going to choose a pattern. And I'm going to filter by color. This one. Now, I'm also going to edit the pattern. And I'm just going to play around with the scale. Put less circles on the bookmark. Now I'm going to select all and then attach. And here's the second example. I'm also going to hide this one so that we can work on the third example. In this third example, I will be adding colored shapes as well as text and background color. So I'm going over to shapes to select a square. And I'm going to make the size 2.5 by 8.5. I'm going to place the square on the X and Y axis at zero. Now select a circle and make the size 0.25. Place the circle on the X at 1.125. And the Y at 0.25. Select all and then change the color to white. I want to print this bookmark as well. So I'm going over to the layers panel, select a square, and then go up to operation and change it to a print and cut. I'm going to add a background color first. So I'm going up to fill and I'm just going to choose this color. And now I'm going to start adding shapes. So I'm going to start with the triangle. Now I'm going to change this from a cut to a printing cut because I actually want this to print out. So I'm going up to operation to change this to a printing cut. And then I'm also going to change the color and I'm going to add my color. And I'm going to duplicate this a couple times. And I'm just going to stagger them a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to choose a circle. And I'm going to do the same thing. Change this to a print and cut and fill with color. And I'm going to add my own color. And I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit and place right there. Now I'm going to select a half circle. And I'm going to do the same thing, change this to a print and cut. And I'm also going to fill this with color. I'm going to use the same color as the other circle. And I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm just going to flip this one horizontal. Reduce the size a little bit and rotate it and I'm going to place this one here and move these two over a little and this one 
I'm gonna place right here. Now I'm going to add text. I'm gonna be using the Cricut Sans font, the writing style, and the font size that I'm gonna use is 16. I'm going to add space between the letters. And I'm also going to curve the text. I'm going to duplicate it and place the other one here. And I'm going to select the square as well as the text only align center horizontally now in order for me to print this out because I want the background color to print uh, the colored shapes to print as well as the text so I'm going over to the layers panel I'm going to select the square and all of the shapes that are colored as well as the text I'm going to select attach and then flatten. Now, if the circle falls behind the square, just click on the square, go to arrange and then send to back. And then finally, we just need to select all and then attach everything together. Now there's one more option um, that you could do to make a bookmark and that is bring it in from another platform such as Canva, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to hide this one, and we'll get started on that one. Okay, like I said, with this option, you can bring in your design from Canva, Illustrator, or Procreate, and basically um, you would create your design in those platforms. Just make sure that you set your desired width and height for the bookmark that you want. Then you would need to create your design and then download it as a PNG and then upload it into Design Space. Choose Complex and then Apply and Continue, then choose the Print and Cut option and then Upload. Once you upload it to the canvas, as you can see, I've just uploaded it to my canvas and it's huge. So I need to reduce the size. So I'm going to make this bookmark two by seven. So I'm going up to size to adjust the um, dimensions to two by seven. And the only other thing that I would need to do is placing this on the X and Y axis at zero and adding the circle at the top to be cut out. Um, it's totally optional if you want the circle. I'm going to place this on the X and Y axis at zero. And I'm going to select a circle. And I'm going to make the size 0.25. And I'm going to place it on the X axis at 0.875 and the Y axis at 0.125. I'm just gonna change the color to white. Now all I would need to do is select all and then attach. And that's it. You should be able to put multiple on one sheet. It all depends on the size. I'm going to bring back all the others and place them on the canvas and I will align them and then I'm going to select make it and I'll be back to show you the results.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed what I've shared, give it a positive like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have a topic suggestion on what you would like to see, drop them in the comment section below. Remember, stay positive, appreciate your progress, and I'll see you in the next video.